Thanks for tuning in. This is the celestial vacation mid event review by YY. I think you've already got enough seashells for two HUR summer alchemists. I know you are so good. On two, there are two main sources for seashells. One is killing the summer alchemists. The other is the panel challenge and mental hall. Each time we hit a jackpot, we can get two hundred seashells. My net has increased the difficulty of this game. No matter for fancy archwitch or even elemental hop beginner class. Let's pay attention to the Nula at the other side. One time off Nula. I use the Mummy to consume the green dot of the other other side. Let me test how many green dots they have. The second time off Nula. The third time, as far as I test, I met more than two times of notification against attacking skills for killing the level 500 fantasy archwitch. If a player doesn't care about overkills, he can ignore two servants. After enough times of buffer, no matter self buffer or team buffer, he can try taking down the main body as fast as possible before the enemy team become a huge snowball. Let's take a note for this value: one million one hundred and seventy thousand eight hundred and sixty-four as value A. This is the damage dealt to the first two servants at the same position. In my case, in the right position. Let's take a note for this value as value B: eighteen million eight hundred and fifty-eight thousand three hundred and twenty-nine. This is the total damage I dealt in this battle. This is the reward collection screen. We can find that the result of B minus A is exactly the final damage considered by the system. The conclusion is that, including the two servants revived by the fantasy archwitch, there are totally four servants. The damage dealt to the first two servants, even in the same position, is not considered by the system. Some player reported that. The damage due to the servants before being revived is not considered by the system. They got their point, just not precise enough. In their case, they took down two servants at both sides first, left and right. The solution from us are the same. After entering the battle, just to take down two servants as fast as possible to blow up the fake damage. If a player wants PDs from overkills, he can try using multi hit cards. If he plays aggressively, he can use three unleashes, one AD team buffer, together with one multi hit card. There is no archwitch field for the level 500 fantasy archwitch in this event. I play defensively. I use the team of Halloween Hades, Diva Mika, Mild Red, and together with two single unleashes. Because the Mild Red can decrease ATK and defense simultaneously. This is helpful if we don't postpone too much. If the battle is really postponed, the other side will be AD team buffered after every attack. Even Herb Wing can't decrease their ATK in time, and it will be hard for us to shoot 10 million damage by multi hit cards. The overall effects of defense buffer by the enemy is like one time of ATK 80% down to us. We need one or two more times of buffer by Diva Mika or defense down by Mild Red. So finally, our Mild Red is useful. Whether Queen Poseidon is useful still remains a question. Maybe we will find this answer after three or four events, just like Mild Red. Because we need to farm seashells in Elemental Hall, I hope you get Lolita Alchemists from Panel Challenge. Single Unleash also is very important in this game. Normally, Lolita isn't willing to appear all the time in Panel Challenge, so we may get two copies of Alp, the ancient archwitch of the 13th event in this game. By the way, my five magic spell increments from some earlier events expired in my gift box. Equivalently, I lost a lot of seashells.
Please be careful to arrange your gift box in time. For the final ranking rewards, Diva Trident needs top 2000, not so hard. But the uh, beginning of Alchemist needs top 300, not newbie friendly. If you can't get the uh, beginning, no need to worry at all. The second skill of Sunset Alchemist is a double edged sword. It certainly increases the survivability of herself, but in the situation that after enough time of buffer and after she contributes extra damage in buster mode, personally, I hope her go to hell in order to make the remaining stars on Unleashes all go to the full Nula. For example, in a team of 1 Nula, 1 AD team buffer and 3 Unleashes, or 2 Nulas, 1 AD team buffer and 2 Unleashes. In order to complete this event, I want to get the beginning and one perfect amalgamation Poseidon. This game is still young. I think it's just a beginning for my net to operate this game. This game is becoming new and challenging. We have seen the reason why good cards like Mika or Herbwing is released earlier this year. Still, we have about 6 days in this event. I will go to farm seashells in about 2 hours. Today is a passion day. I will share jackpots with you guys later. Hope you get enough seashells. Hope you get the cards you want. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your questions or comments. See you soon.